In this video, I'm going to be taking a mobile website, I'm going to be converting it to an app using a program called Cordova, and then submitting it to the Play Store and the iOS App Store. So the first step is to make sure that the website is completely responsive. The way I like to do this is in Chrome, I hold down Control Shift and press J, and this will open up the developer console. From here, we can select this little mobile icon here, and we can test out different devices. Here we've got the iPhone, iPhone X, Pixel 2 XL, and we can also rotate the device. So we can see it looks the, the website looks good in landscape and portrait. If we want to make adjustments to that, we can open up the CSS for the website and use media queries such as this one. But this means that anything with a screen size less than 1300 pixels will have this CSS applied rather than the CSS above it. Once we're happy with how the site looks, we can go about setting up a Cordova project. Let's go ahead and download Node.js. We can use the LTS version for Windows, Mac, or to compile the source code. Then once we've done that, we can open up a shell using a shift and right click and then open PowerShell window here. We can then install Cordova with npm install minus g Cordova. Then we can go ahead and create a hello world type project. So we're gonna do Cordova create then we're going to give it an app ID. The app ID should be a reverse domain name, so it should be like com, my domain, or my company, and then the app. And then the name of it. Create a new project. So let's go into that. If we're going in the directory, we'll be able to see clearer. We've got a few files and a couple of directories here. We can add the platforms now as well. So I'm adding iOS and Android. Now we want to copy our website into this www folder. So this is where all our static HTML files are going to go. If you're using a WordPress site and you want to turn that into an app, then you'll need to add an additional step here and use a WordPress plugin to convert your website into a static HTML files and rather than dynamic PHP content. Let's start by editing this file here. Let's open this with code Then device is ready. I'm just going to change this to this is my app. Save that, try and build it. Cordova build Android. You can see we've been left with an app.debug.apk file here. We could copy this onto our mobile phone or Android phone and change the developer settings to allow unknown APK files to be installed. We could install that manually. The other thing we can do is plug in a USB lead to you between your phone and your laptop and then you can debug actually on the laptop device while the app is running on the mobile and you don't have to copy files across. Once the phone's plugged in we enable USB debugging on the developer settings then we run Cordova run Android. What it's going to do is going to build out an APK and then it's going to run it on the device automatically. Now while that's doing that, if we go across to Chrome, we can see we've got this Chrome inspect devices URL at the top. On the mobile device, the app is running. And in Chrome, we have this browser that we can inspect. If we click inspect here, we get a debugging window where we can interact with the app remotely. And we can also see any console errors. We can measure performance. You can see the, the text that we changed to this is my app is displayed here. The device ready event has been fired. You've got everything here you need to debug a application. The next step once we finish debugging is to build it out a release version. You can see that was successfully built. We can then go onto the developer account on the Google Play Store and upload our APK file for the app. So to build the same app on iOS, we need to use a Mac. I don't have a Mac, so I use Mac in the cloud. I currently use their pay-as-you-go plan where you just pay an hourly fee to use the Mac for developing. I think it's, it's this one that I use. And what you end up with is a remote desktop which runs a Mac in a browser window on Windows like this. You've got a basic Mac setup. We've got a lot of the programs we need pre-installed here. So for example, we've got Xcode. So what I tend to do is zip up all these files and then I move that across to a cloud drive such as Google Drive or Dropbox and then I download that on the Mac, open up in Xcode and then use that to submit the app to the iOS App Store. 
the fees for getting on these developer projects for Android I believe is about $30 and for uh, iOS it's $100 for a personal account but then there's some apps that you can't submit via a personal account so it's $300 for a corporate account or an enterprise account. In much the same way as we submit the app to the Android Play Store, we submit the app to Apple's App Store and it gets reviewed and then it goes live on the site. Then to roll out updates, we make changes to the code, we compile and build the files we've called over again and Xcode, and then we resubmit them as an app, app update and that gets rolled out automatically to anyone that's downloaded the app. Obviously, when you're developing for iOS and Android, you're very reliant on Apple and Google. You're, you're within their company's ecosystems and you have to do things the way they require you to do it. It's not, you don't have as much freedom as doing web development where you can do pretty much whatever you like because you're not restricted to any one particular company. I said that I think Cordova is a great way to get started with building apps and if you're coming from a web development background then it's a great way to get your app onto the app store because all the code that you're using you're already familiar with it. it's just HTML, JavaScript and CSS and then you're just converting that to an app using Cordova. Good luck turning your mobile websites into apps and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.